Hello, this is Adam Watson. I'm the Digital Learning Coordinator at Shelby County Public Schools and on Twitter at Watson EdTech. Here today I'm going to be talking about Empower and in particular um, when you create evidences or activities and create a due date, how that works, and the next step being when I assign that uh, to other groups and classes that I have. Uh, this video in particular is to highlight an issue that teachers have had where they uh, may have thought that there was a glitch in Empower, and actually it's not a glitch, uh, but just the way that the workflow works for Empower. So I want to make sure that that is clear and bring some clarity to that. So in order to do that, let's just jump right in. I, for the sake of expediency, am going to do this as an add evidence. In theory, this process would work if we were on the instruction side and created an activity or playlist or quiz and so on. But um, from the scoring side, I'm going to jump right in and add a piece of evidence. For this, we're going to come up with a title. We'll call this a due date sample. We could describe it if we want to. Now notice the assignment and the due date, or due on. Uh, today being the default, which makes sense as far as today's date. Due on, by default, is June 30th of 2020. And if I wanted to intentionally change that, I absolutely could uh, for the sake of this one. I'm going to change it to January 6th of 2020, so just after our winter break. I can select some targets to score, like that one. Click away from it. I've uh, got my MAS, which is a default of 4. For Again, for the purpose of this, I'm going to leave that be. And when I'm ready, I can save and close. And note again that the uh, due date should reflect January 6th, 2020, for the particular class group that I'm in when I created this. As you can see, there it is. There's a piece of evidence. Um, this is what would probably, I would assume, to be an understood and, and default uh, way of doing evidences and activities. But anytime you do one of those inside of a class group, uh, Empower is just going to assume that, of course, you want to assign that immediately to the group, and it does so. So my 2019-2020 sample class is good to go, ready to go. And if you're curious about did that due date take, I can click on the title. I'm actually going to go to score evidence, and you'll see for our one student, Ayla, that the due date of January 6, 2020 held. So what we chose is what worked. So far, so good. The question is, now that I've done that, uh, and I want to assign it to my other class groups quickly, what happens to the due date then? So the first thing that we can do is now we can go back and go under view evidence. This is probably the shortest way to do it, quickest way to do it. First off, you notice that anytime you add a piece of evidence, even though it literally asks for just a couple of fields to be populated, that when you go back and look at it again, it looks like it's a full-blown activity with all these tabs and adding resources and action plan. Um, but we can ignore that for the moment. The key thing, as you can see, is our standard stuck. We've got our evidence. And we're ready to assign this now to another class. So we're going to go to this Assign button. Next choice to make, whether we assign the original or assign a copy. Keep in mind that sometimes, actually, I would probably say most of the times, assigning a copy would be the safest idea because within each class, if you decided to tailor or individually uh, do anything with that evidence for that particular class group, you could without trying to remember well, where's the original. And by doing this change, it might affect everyone else who uh, has already been assigned this piece of evidence. So a signed copy is probably best. Uh, you can give it a unique name if you're going to do it that way. Again, for the sake of just this run through, I'm going to save some time and just let it be assigned original. Um, now, notice that it's already been assigned to the class that I created in. This, as we said, that would make sense. But now we're at a position where we're ready to assign it to new groups. And here is where that due date comes in handy. Some people have seen this and thought, well, wait a minute. Didn't I make the due date for this January 6th? Why am I not seeing it? We're in a different side, a different screen, a different place. What it's asking us now is, when we assign it to this group and that group, what due date do we want it to be for those groups? So before I change anything or press anything here, let's change this one to November 2019, and let's just say the 30th. And I'm going to assign that to Sample Sample. I'm going to click it, and instantly, boom, we've made that happen. Okay. And right now, with that done, I'm going to exit out of everything. Exit out of this. Here we go. Now, again for proof, before we move away from this class group, 
Notice that for the activity as we originally created it, still has our January 6, 2020 date, which is what we wanted. But let's just take a peek here at sample sample and see this evidence that we have just assigned from the other place. What's going on with that? Click it. Go to score evidence again. And here we are. Jan you know, we got the November 30th, 2019 date that we'd originally assigned and decided showing up as it should for this version of the activity um, for this particular class group with those particular uh, students in the roster. So now you see it. Um, as far as those dates, hopefully you have some more clarity about the workflow of uh, what Empower is asking and when it asks for it, how that ends up impacting and affecting uh, your assigning of evidence and activities to multiple groups, including the one that you started off with. Thanks so much for listening. Goodbye.